Welcome to the Church Dropout Podcast. My name is Alan. I'm joined by Lisa. Thank you so much for tuning in. Church Dropout is a podcast. We talk about issues, topics, and teachings related to faith, life, and culture in ways that are sometimes funny, sometimes serious, but always insightful. If you have not already, please like, rate, and subscribe wherever you're listening to this podcast at. So we're getting to election season, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, hate is in the air. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) you know it's interesting man you know especially in current day you know politics brings out Mm -hmm. uh i don't want to say the worst in people i guess it brings out people's character yes who they really are yes you know what i mean you know say the honesty yeah like they for some reason uh politics they can't hold back yes absolutely (laughs) absolutely absolutely and so it is that season Mm -hmm. and um You know, and we've had this discussion before just in terms of, you know, as Christians, how should we wade through this? You Mm -hmm. know, how should we think through this? Mm -hmm. Um, And I want to talk about something really briefly uh, related to, you know, uh, Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we know, um, you know, I mean, we should all know at this particular point, right, that he's been um, convicted Mm -hmm. of uh, Mm -hmm. a lot of felonies Mm -hmm. at this point. Mm Mm-hmm. And um, and I don't want to talk about the conviction because that's not important. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is, it, it's about Donald Trump, but it's not about Donald Trump. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he's been convicted of these felonies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's been interesting to see how people who support Trump, mm-hmm. uh, not all people, but, you know, a lot of people, who support Trump, how they've responded to these convictions. Yeah. Um, mainly who I'm di- talking about is Christians, mm. how Christians who support Trump have responded to this. Mm-hmm. And on social media, there has been, um, you know, these, uh, I guess, I don't know if you call them memes, but I don't know. They, you know, these posts that are, um, you know, talking about Trump mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, his conviction mm-hmm. and how we as Christians ought to think about mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, to me, it's just disgusting. Mm. And I don't mean that. It, I'll just give you it up front. Okay. What I don't understand mm-hmm. is how people are relating him to Christ. Mm. Because mm-hmm. these are what these memes or whatever they are mm-hmm. are portraying. Mm. They are relating him to Christ, mm. right? Mm-hmm. They're seeing what he is going through mm-hmm. as similar mm-hmm. to what Christ mm. has gone through. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's horrible. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely horrible. Mm-hmm. So I want to just read a few of these, and then I'll get your opinion, and then um. You know, we, we'll we'll go from there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. So one of these, this is just this is just bad. So one of these is it's it says President Trump now joins the ranks of heroes falsely convicted by jealous and corrupt enemies. For more information, see the Bible, and then it has Donald Trump. It has Daniel from the scriptures, it has Paul, and it has Jesus, mm, mm, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So now Donald Trump has joined these biblical figures of being falsely accused. Mm. Another one says, if you're not sure you can vote for a convicted criminal, remember you worship one. Mm. And has a picture of him and a portrait of Jesus uh, on the cross. Mm. First of all. Wait, Trump is on the cross? No, Jesus is on the cross. Trump is next to Jesus Mm. who's on the cross. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being guilty and being convicted of something guilty is two different things. Mm. Right. But anyway. This one has a picture of Donald Trump 
being hugged by Jesus or hugging Jesus. And it says, don't worry. This is Jesus talking. Don't worry. They found me guilty too. You will rise again in November because they could not spell November. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So in November. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But think about this. Don't worry. They found me guilty too. You will rise again in November. That's mm. an allusion to mm. the resurrection. Right. What, what are we doing? Wow. How, how is this? I, I, I am just, was that the last one? No. no okay. No, no, no. I got, I got 32 more. Oh my God. I'm just, gonna, <laughs> I'll just do a couple more um, or one more. Really. Okay. Um, so this one has, has Donald Trump sitting uh, in a chair in the White House, and I, you know, I'll put these on the screen. But mm -hmm. anyway, it has Donald Trump sitting in the White House mm -hmm. on a chair, flag in the background. Jesus has his arms, or a portrait of Jesus has mm -hmm. his arms on his shoulder, and Donald Trump is kind of, you know, has his resting his hand on Jesus, and mm -hmm. Jesus is saying, "It's okay. They call me guilty too." Mm. So, I mean, you know, just this idea that somehow Donald Trump is, you know, being compared to or related to Jesus, mm. that the persecution that they will call, what they call persecution is mm -hmm. similar to what Jesus faced. Mm. I, I just don't, I just don't understand. This I don't season. understand either. I honestly, I don't understand. I'm concerned for people yeah. that really believe this type of stuff. Yeah. Donald Trump is no Jesus. No, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm sorry to anybody. He's no Jesus. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about anything he's done or anything I, that this that just sickens me. Like, yeah. I just I don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have we, we have the savior. Yep. Why are you trying to make this man a savior? Yes. Yeah. He is a man. Yep. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. I just I, I, I just don't I don't I don't get that. That that is just I'm flabbergasted. I can't believe, mm -hmm. you know. People can actually believe this, you yeah. know, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's scary. It's really, really scary. It absolutely is. And it's just, it's scary. It's sad of where the church is today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of how we process um, our faith yeah. and how closely our faith is tied to these ideas, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the political system, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, you know, God needs Trump or that God is going to work through uh, this man. Again, it just to bring about mm. whatever redemption. Yeah. I, I just don't understand the divine um, authority that has been placed on this person. Yeah. And to go this far mm -hmm. to say that he is being compared to Jesus mm. because of the things that he's facing because of his actions is appalling. It is. And it's, you know, it's just, I, but I do think it's a picture of where we are today. Yeah. Where, where Christianity is and where the church is today. And again, this has nothing to do with, a political party because right. I'm over all of that. Right. I'm just being real. Right. Um, I had a conversation with someone the other day and um, I, I think it's time for Christians to, you know, we need to, to you know, kind of take a stand mm -hmm. in terms of uh, what kingdom yes. that we are going to yes. represent. Yes. Um, we don't need a system to rule us. Right. We have a system. Uh, and a savior and a king. Mm -hmm. um, and the very idea that we have a kingdom that we belong to means that, that we have a king that leads that and we don't need uh, another king. Yeah. But it's, it just shows us where we are today yeah. as the church. But again, to compare him and what he's going through right now to what Jesus has um, gone through and done for us, mm -hmm. I, I think is... Mm blasphemous. Mm -hmm. I think it's horrible. I think it's something that we should be really concerned about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not yeah. a Republican. Yeah. It doesn't matter what side we talking about. Right. It doesn't. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think this is a sign of where yeah. we are politically. Here's the right. last thing I'll say is 
Well, I'm not even going to go there because that's kind of bringing up a different conversation. But just mm-hmm. the fact that, again, that, that you know, that and, they used or, you know, related him to Jesus is is something that we should be very much concerned about. And I'm really hoping mm-hmm. that at the end of the day, this is really coming out from his camp. You know what I mean? And not from people really believing this. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. that would be great if it was, you know, really people don't really believe this. This is just some fake stuff people just threw up. You know what I mean? But honestly, I believe people really believe this. Oh, yeah. No, you know no, what no. I mean? This is even if it. If it didn't even if it even if it didn't come from his camp, what I'm saying there are people sharing this stuff. Yeah. Oh. This yeah, is not true. you know, people believe this. Yeah. Um, you that's know, crazy. and again, and this is where the church, when he was elected the first time, mm-hmm. you know, the church had all these divine prophecies. Oh, he's a bull in the china shop and he's gonna, you know, he you know, God is calling him to, you know, like all of this type stuff. And mm-hmm. you know, um, we set him on that, on that pedestal Mm. we 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 put him there Mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying Mm -hmm. you know um and now he's taking this to a whole nother level and people Mm. believe this Mm -hmm. um but my thing is is you know what we've often talked about is is like you know as christians you know we are not called to to unite ourselves um with any kingdom mm-hmm. except the kingdom that we mm-hmm. belong to yes and when we read scripture it is not god's desire to have any body rule over his kingdom mm-hmm. even when israel asked for a king god was like listen this is what the king is going to do he's mm-hmm. going to rule over you he's going to tax you he's going to treat you poorly he's going to mm-hmm. treat you bad you don't need a king you mm-hmm. have a king mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's interesting how christians are fighting again right. it's the same conversation over and over again for somebody to lead us. Yeah. The reality is, is that God has called Christians mm. to make disciples of all nations. Yes. Not to legislate reality. Right. But to live that reality out in a way that changes the environments that we live in and demonstrate the gospel in a way mm-hmm. that turns people's hearts. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't participate or we shouldn't vote or we shouldn't do those things. Mm-hmm. That's not my concern. My right. concern is for the kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. when we see stuff like this, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. Christianity, American Christianity, is in a is in a concerning place. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's in mm-hmm. a it's in a concerning place. We ought to be concerned about yeah. this. Yeah. Know? So but anyway. Thank you for tuning in to the Church Dropout Podcast. Um, uh, as usual, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yes, um, I'm sure we'll get many thoughts yes. on this, but the truth is, is that, man, you know, as Christians, we need to stand on, yeah. on that reality. Yep. And uh, there is no comparison None between any politician. Uh, I don't care who it is on what side, any politician and Jesus. There's the, we, we should not be comparing the work that he done on the cross to save humanity, mm-hmm. to die for, uh, for uh, his body. Mm-hmm. Um, we should not be comparing that to a person who's been convicted of of, of crimes mm-hmm. that, uh, that, that, you know, more likely he likely committed. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And, and, you know, and again, you know, it's just interest anyway. So I'm not even going to go there, but mm-hmm. that's, that's it. Yeah. All right. So like, rate, subscribe, wherever you're listening to this ad, drop a comment below and uh, we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Good night.